we're going to ink it up. I'm so sorry. Hello, good morning, afternoon, evening, night, depending on where you're tuning in from. Oh, oh, an a Rusco and a Brown. And more. Hi, everyone. This is Aziza here on Anderson Pens. Um, as you can see, I have a small little stack of goodies here to play with today. Hello, thank you so much for joining. Um, I'll go through what I got and then my kind of random plan. Hi, Jason. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're going on a last name basis now, apparently. We are eye dropping a preppy with Montblanc's William Shakespeare Velvet Red. This is a new ink to me, so I've recently been playing with it, and I rather like it. My favorite go-to red is usually Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red. I saw Velvet Red, and I thought, okay, I'm going to try this out a bit. So, and I also thought a red preppy would be almost sort of a match, but it turns out not really, because it's this is red, and this is Velvet Red. So, I know. A peppy, yes, a peppy. Uh, a preppy and Mont Blanc. So shall we get cracking? This is a brand new preppy. Nice slip cap. It comes with a matching ink cartridge, which is kind of fun because you may know that if you get a Lamy um, limited color, like the Safari and the All Star, it doesn't matter what color it is, you still get the washable blue cartridge. So it's kind of fun that this comes with a matching cartridge. But what we're going to do is toss it aside because we are going to eyedropper. So, move that out of the way. I have a little tub of grease. If you don't have grease, you can get 10 mils from us and it'll last you forever. This is actually a really old one. So, um, yeah, it'll last you forever. I have a pipette, it's just plastic. Useful for not only eyedroppering, but pretty much everything else under the sun. I'm going to grab a inky cloth. Get my bottle open. Now, usually I have my assistant eyedropper for me, but I'm going to try to do this myself while looking through the camera. So I only have someone else do it because I don't need to touch the grease. <laughs> so what you just need to do, uh, you just take a little bit. This is probably more than I needed, but I'm going to smear it on here anyway. And you want to put it on the threads of the section because when you close this up, it'll make a nice greasy barrier for your ink. Yes, you can also uh, use grease to fix the taps on your home. Hello, everyone who is new and joining. I'm kind of half looking at my screen and half looking at my grease here. That sounds weird. Uh, if you are planning to carry your eyedropper pre preppy around, you can also pick up an O-ring from us and it'll just sit right here, just adds an extra barrier of protection. Now, typically I do not carry my eyedropper preppy around. I, I usually use it for like doodling and outlining sketches and whatever. Um, so I don't put the O-ring in, but let's see what kind of disaster I can make. This will be fun, right? I mean, it is called inspiration and we are going to ink it up so it seems only appropriate that I make a complete disaster and get ink everywhere and then have somebody else clean it up now that was about two and a half mils I think that went into there this is also a super way to use up ink samples if you have hoarded a whole bunch of them because you could just open up the barrel and pour it in I'm gonna move that out of the way my pipette so you can also fill the cartridge with a syringe, absolutely. But I like to live on the edge. I also like to have a lot of ink on hand. I nearly dropped this, that would have been hilarious. No tasting, no, no, no. I'm not allowed to taste on here. Um, what I usually do is close it about three quarters of a way and then flip it and then close it the rest of the way, which helps to push some of the, the air displacement, pushes some of the ink into the feed so it starts to saturate. You can see it moving through here. Kinda cool. Lava lampy action. Ah, yes. Can't even argue with that. Okay, wait. Let's get a good angle here. Oh, yeah. That is cool. It also looks like um, when you have blood taken and they have those little vials and then they fill it up and then they, you know, swirl it around a bit. So, phlebotomy with Anderson pens. Okay. So, here we go. Close this up. Lava lampy. Yes, I think this should be like a trending hashtag. Now, actually... What I was planning to do 
was dip this. Okay, let me tell you a story about a platinum preppy. When I moved to the Netherlands, I had a new platinum preppy and it was pink. So I took the pink cartridge that had come with it and put it into the preppy and I left it inked for all sorts of writing samples like when I was testing out papers and it lasted about a year and a half. I know that's a long time to use the same cartridge because I would only like just scribble a couple of lines on the page with it. Uh, yeah, so a year and a half, never ran dry. I had it sitting in a pen block on our desk and uh, yeah, it lasted forever. Honestly, it was unreal that something could be so amazing. So the preppy is well worth the four ninety five, three ninety five. What am I thinking here? Three ninety five US, which is where you all are. So let's see, are we good here? Yes, I did dip it because I did. I could see that the ink had not made it all the way through yet. Now the preppy. This is the 0.5 millimeter. So this is the medium. There's also extra fine and fine. That's the only downside. If you're looking for a whole bunch of nib variation, the preppy is not necessarily the place for serious nib variation. However, it is a crazy reliable writer. Preppy. Let's write a bit more. It's sort of a firm nib. I've actually used gold nibs that are more rock solid than this one. So it's kind of nice. I, I enjoy the writing experience. It's not super smooth. So if you're looking for like the, the kind of nib that just glides across the page, this is not necessarily the one you're going to look for. It has a little bit of feedback, but let's listen. It doesn't sound scratchy. It actually sounds pretty nice. Let's do, oh, okay. Here we can lava lampy a bit. Is it smooth? You know what, SBRE Brown? It's probably one of the smoothest nibs you can ever find. No, but really, it's actually really pleasant. You can see the little bulb of tipping on there on this medium. Uh, I've also used the fine, which is very pleasant. I have not used the extra fine as yet. Oh, that is so cool. Let me see, I had a question here. Exchange rates favor Canadians or Americans right now? Probably Americans. This ink is the Mont Blanc William Shakespeare Velvet Red. I have not used the Winter Glow, but from what I have seen from others using it, it is pretty close. Um, this particular pen is not super dry. Maybe medium. I mean, it is a very, a fairly fine line. Hello. Absolutely, you have to eyedropper your preppy. And the more hideous and blinding the ink, the better. Christmassy. Are we talking about Christmas already? You know what's also around Christmas? My birthday. You'd think it'd be great, but not necessarily. Okay, I also left some ink in my eyedropper here. My pipette. My pipette to smear around a little so we can look at, I was going to call it winter glow, so we can look at velvet red. <laughs> yes, exchange rates favor the U.S. because it is being made great. Let's see here. Look how versatile something like this is so useful. I mean, it's just so versatile. You can smear ink, you can ink things up, you can do other things that may not be pen related with. Okay, I'm just going to use my finger now. This is the sad result. Your blue preppy with Conpecky is wet, but the purple with a diamine amazing amethyst or green alt gold coon. Yeah, alt gold coon is a little on the dry side, and I think the amazing amethyst also will be as well because of the purple dyes that they use. But Conpecky, in my experience, is quite nice. But thanks for letting us know. Lexington, Lexington Gray, I have a sample of that. So I'll have to try that out. There we go. There's some velvet red. So the corn poppy red is more, it's a brighter red. And this one has a bit more of like a crimson tone to it. Shades really nicely. I like it. So you get quite a bit, 35 mils. I mean, unless you're burning through your ink like crazy by folded nibbing it or uh, flex nibbing it you know, with your Pilot Falcon or something. 
Uh, it should last you a pretty long time. Okay, I wrote an F, but I have no word for F. Um, how about fearless? In case you're unfamiliar with eyedroppering, the reason you can eyedropper this one is because it has no holes anywhere. There's also no metal, so you don't have to worry about rusting or anything like that. Any nib can be flexed with enough pressure. Absolutely. And any nib can flex at least once. Maybe only once. Let's see if we can get some... Uh, let's, let, let's see what can happen with this nib. That's a nice solid medium line, I think. If you do apply pressure, it doesn't get much more than a medium, but it does become a wetter medium. Wetter medium. Honestly, I think the preppy is pretty awesome. I um, this is often one of the one of the beginner pen recommendations because they're very easy to use, along with the Pilot Varsity, which is already inked up and ready to go. But I think this one's really nice because you can see inside. I really enjoy clear pens. Hello. Any nib can flex at least once. That's a dangerous hashtag to start. Okay, in case you did not know, tonight is the Pelican Hubs, which occur in many cities across the world. They all are at 6.30 p.m. That's tonight. It should be a good time. We are going to be going to the one in Toronto, so I was selecting pens and inks to play with. You don't have to have a pelican to go. You can also just take a pelican ink. You don't even have to take a pelican. Everyone is uh, sorry, welcome. Showed your significant other a flex nib and she loved it. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm always scared when I lend someone else uh, a flex nib of mine because I never know how hard they're gonna press. So I always say very, very gently. I wrote someone because that makes no sense. Hello. Now, this is not my best writing, obviously. The notebook I'm using is the trusty and adorable Midori. These are the MD series. And this particular one is B6 Slim Gridded. Now there are other, there's other sizes. You can also get the A5, which is like a larger size. Yeah, sorry. And you can also get uh, different rulings, but I actually like the, the grid on here because it's not, it's not super obstructive. I very much like the Midori. It's like smooth paper, but not super coated, so it doesn't take excessively long to dry. Now here's something that you may or may not like. Personally, I really like this, but if you use a really wet writer and your ink saturates kind of across the grid, the grid can show through depending on how much saturation there is. That's kind of cool. I like it. I think it's a cool effect. Now, here's the thing. You saw how much ink I smeared on there. Ta-da! That's pretty low bleed, uh, show through, no bleed through, so you can use the back side as well. But I'm going back here because this is the page I was having fun on. Okay, here, look. I dipped it, and I got ink into that section there, like inside where the nib is, and then I just dropped it on my finger. So I'm just going to wipe that up because I did not wipe the nib after dipping it. Hello! Okay, I'm going to write Janine's name because I really like the J's and N's in her name. Janine, oh look, you can even have a little heart. I should say hello. I'm just writing random nonsense because I just want to play with the ink a little. Anyway, um, the thing is, if you did want to put the O-ring in, this it would sit like right about, let me find this thing here, right about here. Gives you an extra barrier. But it's pretty solid. Again, I don't typically carry around my eyedropper preppies because I don't put the O-ring in. But also, I don't often carry eyedroppers with me. I typically carry like a piston filler or a cartridge converter. So if you do want to carry yours, pick up an O-ring as well or O-ring or two. That's pretty much it. 
just wanted to show you how easy it is to eyedropper and also show off the very beautiful William Shakespeare Velvet Red, which I'm really glad I got because I think it's a lovely color. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up and um, we'll be back next week with some more inspiration. And if you do ink it up with anything, make sure you tag us with Anderson pens. See you next time. Bye.